that competition. The Arsenal team then, well, it's the same 11 that played in the first leg. Only Jack Wilshere and Francis Cochrane have ever played at the Emirates before. So for nine of the starting 11, the first test is to see how they cope with the bigger stage. Manchester City are also unchanged from the team that played in the first leg. Jack Redshaw, who's been prolific in the league for them, is only a substitute. Robbie Mack and Alex Nimley, the Slovakian and Liberian strikers, are the real threat, and Arsenal will have to find a way to cope with them. Well, the first test then for these players is to find out just how well they can cope with playing on this surface and in front of a larger crowd than normal. The contrast couldn't be bigger. Most of the games these players are involved in take place on training grounds up and down the country. And here they are in one of the biggest stadiums in the Premier League. An early test for Luke Ayling at the back. He passes that. And it's Emmanuel Thomas, the Arsenal captain, who releases Sanchez Watt. There's an early chance here for Sanchez Watt. Clean through Sanchez Watt, and Arsenal are in front. It is Sanchez Watt who puts them in front. With a 2-1 lead to protect from the first leg, they extend that advantage. What a start, less than 60 seconds played. Great vision from Emmanuel Thomas. What timed his run to perfection and set the goalkeeper the wrong way. Well, Manchester City probably felt they had a big slope to fight their way up before they arrived here. It's become a mountain now. Arsenal have certainly got the home crowd on their side early on. Emmanuel Thomas. Too strong. Conceding the free kick. Manchester City, before the first leg of this semi-final, hadn't lost a game all season. They lost that first leg, of course, but they haven't been beaten in the Premier Academy League since. In fact, since the first leg, they've been away in America, playing in the Dallas Cup. Here's Tut. He's got Benali in space here. Cruz with a tackle. And an early chance for Trippier, and Shane makes a good save to his left. First test for the Arsenal goalkeeper. The ball falling to Trippier. Well saved. Frimpong in an unusual position, wide on the left. Strong running. Eastman. Sunu. Clever flick. Sunu once more. Perhaps a chance for Sunu, and it takes a deflection wide. That's going to be a corner for Arsenal. Great skill from Gilles Sinou, clearly not overawed by playing here. Got the ball out of his feet, good shots. Cunningham, he's a free kick specialist, so Arsenal won't want to be conceding fouls in and around their penalty area. Nimley, who scored in the first leg, and that's commanding defending from Luke Ailey. Steve Bold will be pleased as a central defender himself. Chartner's throw. And now to bounce. Cochran. Sunu chasing. He's got Wilshire in the middle here. Gilles Sunu. This is Wilshire. Cockman. Cruz joining the attack. City are pinned back here. Cruz. Good cross. Cockland with the header, and that's just wide. Arsenal are dominating this second leg. 
the left back Thomas Cruz with the cross central midfielder Francis Cochrane with the header Arsenal normally warm up in the second halves of these FA Youth Cup games they've made a great start here Cruz back to help out holding off Mack City did play in the Dallas Cup in America. They thrashed AC Milan 4 0. The Mexican side Tigres 3 2 and Toronto FC 4 0. Here's Sanchez walked through again. Brought down by Craig. Is that a penalty? Yes, it is. And Arsenal have a chance to extend their lead even further. Another long ball releasing Watt. The goalkeeper caught out and brings Watt down. It's Jack Wilshire. It's 2-0 to Arsenal. 4-1 on aggregates. And surely they must be heading for the final now. Jack Wilshire just beating Clip. City needs to concentrate here. And they've been called up by Kyle Bartley. He scored in the quarter-final against Tottenham. And he's done it again from a corner. Wilshire with the corner, Bartley with a powerful header, Clegg no chance. Fantastic start for Arsenal, less than half an hour played, 3-0 up and surely on their way to the final of the FA Youth Cup for the first time since 2001. Arsenal won it that year, that was the last time of course, we also won it in 2000. Arsenal have been waiting a long time to get back to that prestigious final. Benali, Emmanuel Thomas stepping in and aiding, helping out. Emmanuel Thomas once more. And a trademark surging run from Emmanuel Thomas pulls the trigger and pulls it wide. Excellent dribbling. Interception by what big mistake Sanchez what near could it possibly be four? It is four. Sanchez what grabs his second. Well, Arsenal might have had one foot in the final, but now they can certainly book their tickets. They will be playing Birmingham or Liverpool, there's no doubt about it. Terrible mistake by Wabara, oh, no. pass intercepted by Watson. And given that chance, he wasn't going to waste it. 4-0 Arsenal lead. Manchester City, remember, aren't used to losing matches. They're certainly not used to being in a position where they're 4-0 down. Chandler trying to release the substitutes at Abdullawi. This is at Abdullawi. Putting it back to Benali. And City are back in it, perhaps. They've got something to cling on to going into the second half. Ahmad Benali. Good play, this, from at Abdullawi. Putting it back to Benali. A good finish. That his back four can have confidence in him tonight, James Shea. That double save earlier on was fantastic. City still posing a threat. And there is the half time whistle. And even if City do pose a threat, they have a long way to go to get back in this one. 4 1 down, 6 2 down on aggregates.